you day everyone welcome to our math series channel in this video i will show to you some examples in solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots in solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots we have three properties starting with property number one if r is greater than zero then x squared is equal to r has two real solutions or roots that is, x is equal to positive negative square root of r. Para maintindihan natin, gawa tayo ng example. First example, x squared is equal to 16. We have now the value of r, that is 16. Then, gagamitin natin yung property number 1. The value of our x now is equal to positive negative square root of 16. Then, simplify square root of 16. The answer is 4. Since we have two real solutions or roots, the value of x now is 4 and negative 4. Para mas maintindihan natin yung property number 1, we'll move on to the second example. The given x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Wala tayong r dyan. So hanapin natin yung r. To get the value of r, we'll move the constant number that is negative 25 to the right side of the equation using addition property of equality. Start na tayo. So since addition, Add natin yung 25 to the left side and the right side of the equation para magiging equal. Then, simplify. 25 minus 25, 0. So, yung natitira na lang sa left side ay x squared. At sa right side of the equation, 0 plus 25, we have 25. Since meron na tayong value ng r, so we will use property number 1. The value of our x now is equal to positive negative square root of 25. Then, simplify square root of 25, that is equal to 5. Dahil meron tayong dalawang solutions or roots, using property number 1, the value of our x is 5 and negative 5. Example number 3. The given 2x squared minus 98 is equal to 0. We will remember first property number 1. Solve this equation. We'll isolate first. 2x squared to get the value of r using addition property of equality. So we will add 98 to the both sides of the equation since this is the number that is a constant. Then simplify, just write down 2x squared, then operate 98 minus 98 we have 0. Then to the right hand side of the equation we have 0 plus 98 that is 98. Isolate x squared, we will divide both sides of the equations by 2. Right side of the equation divided by 2. Then, simplify 2 divided by 2. The answer is 1. Very good. Then, just write down x squared. Next, to the right-hand side of the equation, 98 divided by 2. The answer is 49. Meron tayong value ng r, so we will use property number 1. The value of our x now is positive negative square root of 49. Then what is square root of 49? 7. Very good. Since we have two real solutions or roots, the value of our x now is 7 and negative 7. Type of example. Example number 4. The given, the quantity x minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. To solve this Equation will remember property number 1. Since meron tayong value ng r, we'll use property number 1. Then the new phase of the equation now will be x minus 3 is equal to positive negative square root of 36. Simplify square root of 36. The answer is 6. Very good. Since we have two resolutions or roots, so kukunin natin yung positive and the negative answers. To get the final answer, we'll use addition property of equality. Gagamitin natin yung addition property of equality. Yung kasama ni x sa left side of the equation is negative 3. So, we'll add positive 3 on both sides. Operate. Just bring down x. Then, 3 minus 3, we have 0. Then, to the right-hand side of the equation, 6 plus 3, we have 9. Then, yung negative naman na part. So, again, 
add by 3 left side and right side of the equation then operate just bring down x then 3 minus 3 we have 0 then on the right side of the equation we have negative 6 plus 3 the answer is negative 3 dahil mas malaki yung 6 kaysa kay 3 tapos yung sign ni 6 ay negative that is why the answer is negative 3 so the two answers are 9 and negative 3 we'll move on now to property number 2 and solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots if r is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to r has one real solution or root, that is x is equal to 0. Gawa tayo ng example. x squared is equal to 0. If the value of r is 0, then you will have the square root of 0, still 0. So, madali lang yung property number 2. Property number 3 tayo. If r is less than 0, then x squared is equal to negative r has no real solution or root. Again, gawa tayo ng example. x squared is equal to negative 16. If r is negative, thus, we have no real roots or solutions. Madali lang po yung property 2 at 3. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video tutorial on math lessons.